they um, actually work very good as well. Metallic um, brake pads from the rear. I've been running them for ages. Ultra soft compound, 40 mil length. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video on my channel. So we are back at the Canyon headquarters from the Netherlands and we got the brand new Strive CFR sitting here in the booth. Brand new bike for this season and um, I'm gonna walk you through all of the bike. So I'm gonna show you um, what I'll be running for this season and um, talk a bit in depth about um, everything involved. So we got the Canyon Strive in um, this black colorway. It's a size medium frame. So that's the heart of the bike. We got the Erlins shock on the back. Erlins 38s M2 on the front as well. Um, equipped on the top with a um, reverse base stem in 40 mil length. 35 mil rise reverse handlebars as well. Cut down to 750, so pretty short, but um, for in the enduro day, tracks these days, you kind of have to run it quite, um, quite narrow. So 750 we got for this season. Got the sand hit hand guards as always. Cheers guys um, for, for helping me protect my hands. Very good stuff. Um, we got the mud hugger as well, um, just to protect that little bit of mud was splashing up because especially uh, here at home it rains quite a lot so we'll be in the need for that as well uh, I did cut it down a little bit because of it, my small frame it otherwise hits the, the frame here on the inside so it's a bit cut down as you can tell we got the reverse base wheels on the front equipped with um, the Aircon 200mm 203mm discs on that there's, those work very good. Stopping power is very good and especially with those ventilation bits and stuff, they um, actually work very good as well. Um, so they are not only there for the show, but they actually work good as well. So um, yeah, that's a bit of the front bit. Now working away to the back, we got this SKS carbon bottle holder over here. Um, pretty. Um, strong bale material which is good because you don't want to have your bottle flying out um, so stoked on that we got a prototype sheet on that which I fortunately can't really say anything about got 203 mil road on the back as well um, I'm running metallic um, brake pads from the rear I've been running them for ages um, and um, yeah just really think they they work the best in all conditions both wet and dry i think they are they are my favorite at least um something i got forgot to to mention is the magic mary is always on the front double down casing um this is the world cup spec tire so fortunately you can't get this as a customer but the um, probably is similar to the normal tire you can buy um, so very good stuff <clears throat> got even the stickers from the last race on there so this was from Chatel and the last race of the season always pretty cool to see those bits and pieces on the bike um, working away down to the middle we got the reverse bash guard we got the freshy old chain on there as well which reduces a little bit of the pedal kickback we got the DH mallet crank brothers pedals on here. Uh, always very trusty to have those pedals. Big platform for this year as well, just because sometimes in the stages you need to clip out. So just having that extra bit of platform on there is pretty nice. Just to have a bit more of a platform to stand on in case you clip out. Um, and now working away down to the complete back so we got the reverse base hubs on there, Techie Chan on the back, both front and rear we're running ultra soft compound, double double downhill downhill casing on there. And for this year I'm running the new 
drive train stuff as well. So cheers. Canyon for hooking me up with all those fresh bits and pieces. So I think we basically covered everything on, on the bike so far. Inserts wise, I'm running Procore on the rear and on the front, which is basically a bit the same like um, normal inserts that you see nowadays. The only difference there is you can actually um, adjust the, the, like the thickness or the hardness of it because it's filled with air and it's not filled with material, which is quite cool. Um, unfortunately, you can't get this as a custom anymore. Um, and it's only, only possible to ride for, for Schwabi sponsored riders. Um, but that's one of the things I got in my bike as well. Um, so I think that's basically everything we've covered. We got a pretty neat little stick on there with my name on it. We got some pretty cool spaces under there as well. Um, of course, we got the shape shifter on here, which changes the geometry of the bike. So it has a little um, little shock in here, which extends and then it changes the geometry of the bike. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions about any of the details on the bike, please reach out in the comments and uh, I'm sure I'll be entering them. Um, and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, don't forget to subscribe. So in the next video, I'll be showing the send as well. I'm giving a full rundown of those parts. So stay tuned for that. And um, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.